Let's talk about these small curved liners. These are the four I used. We have a three mil, a two and a half, a one and a half, and a one. Um, they all have a very similar curve with the exception of number four. It's just a uh, a little sharper and the actual the bevel is a little broader so that it fits in nice and tight. Why? Why use such small tools? Um, visibility first and foremost because the light that is going to be visible uh, around the tool is going to be so much more helpful and in the spectrum that we're working with that it's actually kind of important. The uh, relaying the uh, hard-earned design that you've you know built over you know how long now it's time to actually commit it to the metal and to do that accurately in a way that is uh, you know as easy on you as possible so that you can trust the information that you are pushing through the paper um, because the natural limitation of the paper is you can't see what you're doing um, but that's not to say that you shouldn't follow those lines as accurately as you can and that's why a smaller chisel is so helpful. I'm using an eight inch oil quenching tool steel. Um, for these chisels specifically, you don't have to. Um, you can forge it down from a thicker stock, um, and I would, you know, have a nice long taper in a future set. Um, forging is superior to just plain file work, and it does make a difference once you get into such a small spectrum like this um, over the long term. Another thing I want to talk about is we have uh, some designs that we are avoiding. So I'm not really putting in any detail for the the beard rings themselves. They all have their own unique patterns. And um, just like a bracelet, a flat bracelet, you wouldn't want to chase in a deep relief and then try and bend it. It would warp the entire pattern. Um, and because each one of these rings need to be shaped before I can do the imagery in them, um, we are going to just avoid them altogether and I will have to hand draw them on or uh, do them individually with the paper pattern transfer like we're doing now, depending on how comfortable I feel uh, with the design. Plus all the volumes would change. Um, I mean, naturally there's so much wiggle room for you know this style of relief to expand and change and grow. And that's why putting in the line work for the beard and the lines aren't going to be deep either, but putting, so as it expands, it's not going to really damage um, the potential future of the piece. Like, you shouldn't have material failure. Um, but from a composition standpoint, the beard can change shape. That's fine. Like, I'm, I'm not worried about that at all. The beard is quite fluid, and I sort of expect it to change volumes. You'll notice in this pattern, there's actually, uh, like, negative space, missing space. I didn't fill, there's like little gaps in between the beard. Um, where I can totally expect because of like the gathering or the pushing on the metal um, for those volumes to just disappear. So some of that metal might actually add to the height instead of just being like a weird vacancy in this otherwise pretty busy composition. Um, the other thing that I'll mention in a future video is the line work that we avoid for the face. But here we're just using a heat gun to rewarm the adhesive uh, for this paper um, to just kind of scrape it off. And I'm, I'm using a chisel that is not sharp, that way I'm not uh, creating any abrasions that would be unsightly. Um, so, you know, the tattoos didn't make it from the forehead. The, uh, the forehead wrinkles didn't make it. There's, there's loads of details that you avoid for portrait work because there's no point the metal is going to change so drastically and you'll see me actually struggle with this in future videos and having to re-put on some line work the advantage is that it is still quite visible um, and so you can do that down the road but you know this is all we needed to do for this um, we gave ourselves tracings for the beard and a touch marks for the face so that we can keep track of this very busy composition but otherwise that's that's all we needed to do so Good luck with your own tracing, and thanks for joining me on this face adventure.